Again, I'm talking about that divine order that Satan can't do anything about. It's talking about God's plan that he set in motion when he created this earth. I'm talking about that plan when that evil, whorish woman had a good time on this earth for 87 years ripping and destroying and calling God a lie, laughing at God, preaching and thinking everybody she preached to was a fool. Thought she had that power. Well, this is part of God's divine order. That woman tricked me out of a graduate school in State University of New York in Binghamton. I wanted a mother so bad and she was so sweet and she called me home and I left my fellowship. Went down to Atlanta, one of the black experience, went to a black graduate school and there I discovered all these fascinating uh, books, uh, the George P. Warwick slave narratives and the, all this oral history collected where the slaves gave me testimony, gave me testimony, testimony about voodoo and conjure. And I was interested because I grew up with a mother that always practiced it. Praise God, praise God. Now, let me tell you here. My grandfather always told me that I had healing hands, healing hands, because I'd lay my hands on his arthritis and he said the pain would go away. Now all this time, you have to understand, God planted me in the belly of a whore. First she tried to abort me, that didn't work, she gave me away and my grandmother Rachel made her go get me. But from that point on, the moment she got her hands on me, and that demon, that demon was so low. She did so many things to me. But she smiled when she went out in public and she preached. Well, by and by, that old demon died. And when that demon died, my Lord, God started to show me some things. He tried to show me some things. And I'll show you this today. If you got pain in your body, if you got disease in your body, if you got a need today, if you have a need today, I want you to say this prayer. And I reasonably, God told me to tell you because this woman, this 63-year-old woman, I have been beat down. I have been ground, ground up in the powder, in the dust. And the only person, the only somebody that loved me, truly loved me, was my granddaddy, Jerome Walters. And I got to stand up for him. He did not kill himself. He did not kill himself. So say this prayer with me. Get Satan off your back. Get Satan off your back. Trust this prayer. Say this prayer 727 a.m. every day for the rest of your life. Anima Christi. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Oh, good Jesus. Oh, good Jesus. Oh, good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Let me never be separated from you. From the evil one, the evil one that's pretending to be a preacher, that's pretending to be a loved one, that's pretending that they, they, they love you. Protect me from the evil one. Protect me. At the hour of my death, at the hour of my death, call me and bid me to come to you. That with your saints, I may praise you forever and ever. Amen. One more. This was for Black History Month. This prayer, teach it to your children. Some through the water. Some through the flood. Some through the fire. But all through the blood. Some through great sorrow. But God gives a song in the night season and all the day long. Yes, Lord, I came through great sorrow, great sorrow, but I took it, but I took it, but I took it. I survived. You said that the just shall live by faith. The just shall live by faith. The just don't care about this world laughing at you. Don't care about this world scoffing you. Don't try to be like this world. Don't be phony like this world. Don't follow these lying preachers. 
that don't let you be human. You can't cry. You can't cuss. You can't drink. You can't smoke no weed. You can't do nothing. You can't watch no movies. You can't go to television. You watch television. You can't go to the movies. Oh, you got a whole thousand list of things that you can't do. But can you serve God? Can you go in your closet? Can you go in your secret closet and tell God all about your problems? And tell God all about your problems? Praise God about it. Praise God about it. Thank you, Jesus.